Hey everyone, it's Movie Lover Warren 20 here, and I'm here with a brand new movie review, and this movie review is for none other than 1994's Speed. The first one. The one that's actually good. Oh yeah, Speed is this um, action movie that was released in 1994, it stars Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, and Dennis Hopper. It was very successful at the box office, got critical acclaim as one of Quentin Tarantino's favorite movies, and was one of Roger Ebert's four-star reviews. So eventually, in 1997, it did get a sequel called Speed 2 Cruise Control, which is known for being absolute dog shit. But I'm not reviewing that movie, I'm reviewing the first one. So what is the film about? Well... When a young Los Angeles Police Department Special Weapons, Weapons and Tactics Officer called Jack Trenton angers retired Atlanta Police Department Bomb Squad member Howard Payne by foiling his attempt at taking hostages stuck in an elevator with a bomb, Payne in retaliation arms a bus with a bomb that will explode if, he, if it drops below 50 miles per hour. With the help of spunky passenger Annie, Jack and his partner Detective Harry Temple try to, try to save the people on the bus before the bomb goes off, while also trying to figure out how Payne is monitoring them. This is just, this film is absolute gold, and was probably the movie that launched Keanu Reeves as an action star, before Neo, The Matrix, or around the time of Bill and Ted, and before he played Neo in The Matrix Trilogy, and long, 20 years before he played John Wick in the John Wick series. Basically, it's a perfect it's just like, it's a very thrilling action movie. It's like, basically call it Die Hard on a Bus, and it's kind of, it's basically kind of the movie that inspired the concept of Crank being what if the bus from Speed were a guy. Well, it's kind of exactly like that, except it's not all raucous and stuff, and it's not a guy in this deadly situation. It's an actual bus that has to go at a certain mile or it will blow up. if it drops below a certain speed limit. So basically, here's some of the great stuff about this film. Well, it's got this creative story idea, and it's one of the many diehard knockoffs that are premised similar to Die Hard, except this is, I think of all the diehard knockoffs, this one's the best. The film is very well shot, and there are some very amu amusing lines, like, Pop quiz, hot shot. There's a bomb on a bus. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, the bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it blows up. What do you do? What do you do? Some very likable main characters, especially with Jack and Jack and Annie. And speaking of that, Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock have some very excellent chemistry. And good supporting characters like Harry, who's played by who is surprisingly played by Jeff Daniels, and Mac played by Joe Morton. And the very great, and the very, uh, very golden perform, other golden performance would have to be late actor Dennis Hopper's performance, rest in peace, as the villain of Howard Payne, who was interesting. The plot twist is that he used to have a job as a bomb squad officer. Officer, it's, it's even very thrilling at several times, very suspenseful at several times, like when the bus supposed to drop below 50 and they're trying to save all the passengers on the bus since they're technically hostages now. And of course, and of course, Annie has to drive. Has to be the one that has to be the one to kind of help drive the bus to keep it to keep it going fast and prevent it from going slow. And even though she technically got suspended from her driver's license, so it's golden. And then the and then the final conversation. Eventually, they go to a subway train. Is steps on a subway train. Howard Payne has taken Annie hostage, and, and he attempts to bribe Jack to let him go free with that money he robbed, but surprise, it was given a blue dye pack that sprays all over him, and, and it's caused him to lose his fury and, and sets off to confront Jack, and their final confrontation on the subway roof is very well written. And eventually it ends with Howard's death scene, is very, also very well written, it ends with 
this very sharp part of the other ceiling that's below the subway's roof decapitates him. As soon as that, mm, and it's that, and then the rest of the, the rest of the scene's basically the ending. He then tries to uncuff Annie, but he doesn't have the keys for it, and so he decides to let the train go by fast, and then it crashes like through onto Hollywood Boulevard, and yeah, that's where the movie ends. Yeah. For those of you that have probably seen Sonic, you probably do know this. You probably have seen that scene in Sonic where, where he's spying on, where he's like spying on his soon-to-be two human friends, and they're watching the scene, and it gets to the pop quiz scene, and yeah, it's basically known to be that franchise. It's known to be Sonic's favorite movie. So yeah. So, Speed in the End is one of my favorite action movies of all time. I definitely recommend you check it out. It is, it's definitely worth a watch if you want. Now he's actually fun and want a similar diehard premise. Check out this movie. Guys, only check the first one out. Avoid Speed 2 Cruise Control like a plague. That movie can go screw itself. Because uh, that movie is... The one where it sits on a cruise ship and it's all PG-13 and it even apparently Keanu Reeves chose not to play in Speed 2 because he saw how bad the script was. And yeah, I bet he, yeah, it's clear he knew Speed 2 was going to be crap from the beginning and even, even the, the poor director, Jan DeBunt, didn't want to make a sequel to this movie. He just wanted one simple action film and that was it. But no, Fox went... No, you need. We need another one. We want to profit off the speed name, and then that's how we got Speed Two Cruise Control. But all in all, Speed is a phenomenal movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, and definitely one of my favorite action movies in the '90s. And here's how I'd rank it: I am going to give Speed a ten out of ten. And that pretty much wraps up my review for Speed. Yeah, and yeah, guys, I'll review Speed Two Cruise Control as well, so you can hear my angry rant on it. That's going to be a blast to do. No, it won't. But, all right, guys, that'll be it for this review. Thank you all for watching. If you like this one, want to see more, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.